And as a matter of fact, we have brought in the man who produced the magic on Saturday. Kyle, welcome back to the set, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, so at what point did you realize I just set an NCAA record? Uh, when they took me out of the game, I sat down on the bench. <clears throat> Chase, he's like, hey, did you break the record? I said, I don't know. And he's like, well, you did. And he, and he, <laughs> of course, Chase would say something like that. But he told me, and then it kind of all set in. So it was pretty cool. He kind of wanted to see if, if you knew about yeah, it. Yeah, see, yeah. seeing if I was counting stats or whatever. But, no, I had no idea. Did, Sky, did Skyler Halford take any credit for hitting that last three? Yeah, he says if he ever needs anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hit He'll you ask. up, man. Yeah, Let me exactly. Know. Uh, Dave Rose said that um, the beginning of the game, you you know, you hit hit the first six points, and you kind of had this look in your eye. He, he knew that you were going to take over the game. Um, kind of talk about how you get into that mode of, you know, that killer instinct, I'm going to take this all the way. Yeah, I think it started defensively. I was just trying to pick up the point guard. Harass him a little bit, you know, make big plays in defense. I got my hands on a, a ton of balls during that game, and I felt like that carried on to the offensive end. And you know, it was a good game to have like that for me, just that, like that look in my eyes, that aggressiveness. And so, it's going to be on the rest of the year. Did something have to happen for you to get that look, or you know, for you to start right away, or or is it something that you kind of just wake up and say, you know what, I'm, a, I think I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit more. Yeah, you know, I said enough's enough. So, and we're going to carry that the rest of the year and, and try to bring that every game. I think you should have enough <clears throat> is enough attitude for the rest of the season. Oh, I will. Every day. <laughs> I will. Maybe you should have, like, on your ceiling when you wake up, like a picture that says enough is enough. <laughs> I agree. A reminder. Something like that. Okay, so there, we heard that there were some – there was some. Tr there's trash talk everywhere you go, but we heard that there was some specific trash talk from the LMU crowd that you weren't going to get the record or triple-double or that they were coming after you. Did you even hear any of that? And did it fuel your fire on Saturday? You know, at the very start of the game, <clears throat> some guy said, you're not getting the triple-double today. You're not breaking the record. And he was wrong, obviously. But <laughs> I didn't. I totally forgot about that until you oh, said that's that. What, is that why you got the look? Is that why you had that uh, look? No, is that, no. <laughs> is that what sparked it? Was that? No. You know, I, I hope I, you found that guy I, after the I, game. I know, like, right? what's up, dude? <laughs> thank, thank you for giving me that motivation. It's, just, it's your reason. You're the reason why. Um, when I played, I loved playing away more than I, I loved playing at home. Not because of the fans or anything like that, but because of you know the fan, the the, the home, the, the 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 team that you're playing, their fans. Right. You know, the trash talk and kind of elevates your game a little bit. Uh, a lot of your triple doubles have come on the road. Why do you think that is? Um, I don't know. I think maybe a little bit like you said, you just kind of feel like it's you against everyone. You kind of get that mindset and you get that competitive edge. So maybe that, that's why. But I'm not sure. I just try to be aggressive at home our way, and it's just how it turned out. You and I talked at length before the Y Awards last year, I think, or during the rehearsal, and it was uh, shortly after your ACL surgery, and you told me that you were going to come back better and stronger. Now, coming back better and stronger, did the vision of that include five triple-doubles <laughs> this season? Uh. Maybe not five, but I knew I was gonna get <clears throat> I was gonna get some. I told you I would. I knew I would. I was close last year. And that's just the difference of a little bit more extra work, you know, just doing a little bit more all the time. You know, last year I was off by assist a couple games, and that's just a little bit more. Right. So that's the mindset I have right now is just a little bit more, a little more work, a little more effort, and I'm trying to get that and practice games right now and just finish the season as strong as I can. Sometimes in our lives, you have to go through a pretty disappointing situation or a, a tough, tough time, and um, you know you end up coming out of it. It makes you a better person. Do you think that this injury has made you a better player and allowed you to to push for a little bit more? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, when you're at rock bottom like that, not knowing what's going to happen, and all you have to do is just take it day by day, and just mentally, I grew so much. Just that day by day mindset and you know, it's hard. You have to think in six months I can be doing stuff again, but you just day by day. So I grew a lot with patience. Patience was huge and just believing in myself when, you know, everyone didn't. When people said, well, he's done. Well, he's not going to be athletic anymore. Well, he can't do this anymore. You know, just tuning that all out and just believing in myself and keep pushing every day. 
Kyle Collinsworth, the NCAA single season record for triple doubles with us on BYU Sports Nation. Kyle, to say that BYU has needed your five triple doubles is probably an understatement because you look at how many injuries this team has gone through. Even you, I mean, you, you've, you know, cracked your back and are playing through some soreness. Anton Winder's knee and Nate Austin has been out for a while with a hamstring. Chase Fisher has missed some games with different issues. Tyler Haas was out a few games with ankles. How is the health of the team overall right now, and, and uh, how, how much of a concern is that moving forward? I think I think we're doing pretty good. We're doing better, obviously, than earlier. We're still missing Nate, and, you know, guys are, are banged up still, but it's that time of the year. But I think all these injuries and everything that's happened has made us a better team, has made guys have to step up, and we've had to do certain things, and I think it's going to benefit us down this this last stretch. Is it more taxing on your body when you get a, a triple-double? Do you come the next day, you know, and say, oh, man, I'm a little bit more sore, you know, today because of that? Uh, yeah, well, I think just you have to rebound. You have to do everything. So, yeah, it's it's pretty pretty grueling at times. But, you know, I, that's just the style I play. You know, I crash the boards hard defensively and offensively. And so after games, yeah, I'm pretty sore. Do you ever use that excuse with, like, your girlfriend? Like, hey, babe, can you make me a sandwich? Hey, I was, I was just going to say that. I, I milk that, yeah, all the time. No. Can you make me a sandwich, babe? She no. looks at you like, what? Like, I just got triple double. You know? She's an All-American in track, so I'm making her sandwiches. So. <laughs> Nice. That's nice. a slippery slope, right? Yeah. Nice. She's, she's sore, tired too. So, Nate Austin has joked with me a few times about the fact that he's been out has allowed you to to accomplish five triple doubles. Right. How? <laughs> what kind of a conversation <laughs> have you had with Nate about that? Well, he knows. Last year, I led the team in rebounding, so there's <laughs> there's not there's not a huge difference. I think this year it's just assist. You know, you look back at rebounding last year. I rebound the ball. About the same, <clears throat> maybe a little bit better this year. But it's assists. It's having the ball in my hands. It's having guys like Chase, Skyler, Ants, and Ty that can shoot so well and spread the floor. So that's that's been the difference. What, what, what's kind of impressive to me is that <clears throat> the, the fact that of the injuries and just different lineups um, that, that you guys have had starting this year. And, and I know basketball is a, a team game and you have that mm -hmm. chemistry. Uh, but it's really impressive that you're able to to still have that chemistry with the different lineups. Do you think yeah. that has helped you out a little bit more? Yeah, and like I was saying earlier, that's going to help us this time of year. Someone can go down, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Last year I went down with one game left, and, you know, just having all these situations happen – We'll be better off down the stretch. Where do you think BYU basketball needs to improve the most right now at 18 and 8 on the season to make a legitimate run at uh, where you want to be in the postseason? Uh, getting stops. We need to be a team that when we need stops, we need to be able to get them. And so, you know, at the Pepperdine game, we couldn't. And I'd also say uh, rebounding, too. If we can do those two things, which we will, we're going to be a lot better down the stretch. Yeah, I saw a pretty interesting stat that that um, you guys are fifteen and zero when you guys out rebound yeah. your opponent. Yeah. So gotta gotta have a strong emphasis on on the board. Exactly. Yeah, and we're working on it, and we'll be ready for Thursday. Now your coach made some interesting comments after the game. Obviously, super <coughs> high on what you would accomplish the triple double, and you know, uh, but he he also said, "I hope that we're not at a place where we have to have Kyle getting 23 points, 12 rebounds, and 10 assists yeah. for us to be successful." So, if you aren't getting a triple double, what what has to happen? Is it as simple as just getting more rebounds, or is, or is there something else that you feel like needs to happen? I think just getting rebounds and running the team. You know, hitting my shots, getting guys shots, getting guys involved, just controlling the game. Kyle Collins with us on BYU Sports Nation just set the single-season NCAA record for triple-doubles with five. You are one away from the career mark held by Shaquille O'Neal and Michael Anderson. Uh, I know that you try not to think about those things as an, as an athlete, but how do you not think about stuff like that when it's flying across you know, different web pages and your Twitter account and all that stuff? How do you stay focused? I just remember how I got the first five, and that's by not worrying about it, not listening to all that stuff, and just playing my game and, you know, getting my teammates involved and getting them shots. So, you know, I just 
it's hard. Everyone wants to let me know. I got the record <laughs> like I didn't know. <laughs> like I got a concussion during the game and I forgot all about it. But, <laughs> but you know, I just try to just play my game and play hard. And some nights it works out, some nights it doesn't. So, Do you think that this accomplishment is, is really a, a resume builder for you uh, when it comes to the NBA, NBA scouts looking at you? Yeah, it's just something different, you know, and that's what the NBA likes is guys that are a little bit different, have versatility in their game. So, yeah, I think it's a good first step, and I'm going to continue to improve on my game and work on things I need to and make my strengths even better. The here and now of this team is tied for third in the West Coast Conference. I don't know what's going on with Pepperdine, okay? I, I sent out a tweet on Saturday night. I said, explain, explain that basketball team to me. They lose by two at home to Gonzaga. They beat you. They win at St. Mary's on the road. Then they lose by 22 at San Diego. But that's a good thing because now you're tied for third with Pepperdine uh, with a critical three-game home stretch approaching in West Coast Conference play. Uh, how, how do you finish at least third or above in the West Coast Conference? What is the formula for BYU basketball? Uh, just worry about today is the formula. You know, when we go to practice, just worry about getting better and focusing on what we need to do and then worry about tomorrow and just kind of have that mindset day-to-day game-to-day mindset and you know when you 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 think like that and you play like that you can rattle off a lot of wins in a row so we just got to take it day by day all right Kyle Collins with congratulations man we appreciate you being here early on a Monday morning and I don't know if you got to go take an ice bath or something right now yeah I probably should (laughs) (laughs) whatever it is try and enjoy it as much as you can but congratulations on the record all right thanks thanks guys